the CEO of, uh, of Novavax is Stanley Eck, and he, Urk, I'm sorry, I get the pronunciation right, Stanley. It is Stanley Urk of it's Novavax, Urk. and you he joins it. us now. I'm, Thank I'm you. glad I got it right in the end. Thanks for being here, so we do appreciate it. Okay. You bet. How effective is your vaccine against this new Delta variant? So it's it's a great question. We uh, The trial that we did was in such timing that virtually all of the all of the uh, infections were from variants. 82% of everything of all the people who got sick were from variants. Most of it was from the alpha variant, but we did have some delta and beta, gamma, uh, but they, they were at such small numbers in this trial that you couldn't get a statistically significant uh, answer on those. But, but, uh, so, but the vaccine works, and as I say, in, in 93%, if you look at just the variants, the vaccine was 93% effective. That's just terrific, I think. That's exactly what some other countries in the world want more than anything else, a vaccine that really works against the variants. I'm thinking Britain, I'm thinking of uh, India, I'm thinking of, uh, of Brazil. Is this vaccine of yours, when it gets full approval, are you going to be distributing it to other countries rather than America? Yeah, maybe not rather than. I mean, I think, but I do think in the beginning, we're going to be focused on, on ex-US. We have, we have manufacturing sites globally. We have uh, agreements, uh, advanced purchase agreements globally with Canada and Australia and several other countries. And we have this large commitment that we made uh, with COVAX, which is, which is uh, this facility that distributes vaccines to all countries, including low and middle income countries. So we've signed up to make 1.1 billion doses uh, for the COVAX, along with our partner, Serum Institute of India. And uh, their professionals are getting vaccine out to all of the low and middle income countries. They vaccinate, uh, basically they provide vaccine to 65% of the globe, uh, the globe's children. And so with that uh, powerhouse and our eight plants across the globe, uh, we'll be getting product out uh, very quickly to, to the globe. Are you expecting to use it as a, for, for booster shots? Yeah, uh, the answer is yes and yes. Uh, we expect to use it a lot. There's a lot of the world left that needs the primary vaccine regimen, the one for one, two dose regimen. Uh, so we'll be using that. And then eventually uh, we'll be uh, using it for boost. And that'll be probably our biggest market in the United States, for instance. Uh, late this year or next year, we expect uh, that uh, It'll be, it's, it all has all the great characteristics of a good boost. We're in a trial right now in the UK uh, that is uh, comparing the various vaccines and how they boost when you mix and match them, when you, when you vaccinate, say, a regimen with uh, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and then boost with ours or boost with uh, the Pfizer vaccine. Or, uh, and so we'll get, we'll get answers how they work, how they, and how safe are they compared to each other. And, and that's gonna be a, a big story. And I think we, we, we expect our vaccine to be the, the show the most benign uh, side effects. And, and uh, I think we're, gonna, we're going to uh, look good there. But uh, it's, it's uh, uh, the boosting uh, story is going to be around for, for many years to come. Uh, Stanley Urk, thank you very much for joining us this morning, and congratulations, which are terrific results from that, that, those trials. Sure. We thank appreciate you. you being here, sir. Thank you very much.